welcome to this week's European Circle Report. The massive floods in Pakistan are wreaking havoc across the country. So far there have been 1,600 casualties. Two million people lost their homes. According to the UN, six million people are still waiting for drinking water, food and medical treatment. In total, 20 million people are affected by the flooding. Several children have already died from malnourishment. Meanwhile, a second flood wave has hit the south of Pakistan. The situation is deteriorating. The Indus River, the country's biggest river, is 25 times wider than usual. In spite of the alarming conditions, people in western countries are less willing to make donations than during the tsunami disaster. Also, state aid is progressing rather slowly. According to the UN, only a fourth out of the requested $459 million for the first aid has reached Pakistan so far. Aid organizations like UNICEF are making huge efforts and transport large amount of relief supplies to Pakistan. The German federal government increases its emergency assistance up to 15 million euros. The US help with 70 million dollars. The first big shipment of aid are currently arriving in Pakistan. Another danger is the spread of cholera. Individual cases of the disease stroke fear of an epidemic. Moreover, diarrhea and the measles endanger children's lives. Therefore, the UN and aid organizations demand further measures of aid. New flood waves might hit the country and even worsen the crisis. Steffen Seibert is the new spokesman for Chancellor Angela Merkel. His first day started with a setback. A new poll of the renowned Forza Institute shows that currently only 29% of voters support the government party, CDU. The red and green parties reach a clear majority. Seibert, who has recently worked for the national TV channel ZDF, is faced with a multitude of tasks. He's supposed to help the Chancellor to reach better poll results and to explain unpopular decisions. Merkel trusts the former journalist's popularity. It remains uncertain how long it will take Seibert to get used to the political apparatus. Peter Brinkmann, expert on politics, comments on Seibert's new tasks on a talk show on TV Berlin. Er darf he can and must ensure that no doubt arises that the position which he announced is really the position of the Chancellor and therefore the entire government. And that's the difficult part of this job. This succeeds only very much few. From now on, Seibert will join the government's cabinet meetings and answer the questions of the journalists afterwards. Not an easy job, especially when the government is facing tough times. However, Seibert's contract offers him the opportunity to return to ZDF. Yet he will have a hard time being a journalist again if he fails as government spokesperson. It is doubtful that viewers would accept him as being unbiased. This has been the week's European Circle Report. I hope you will be watching again next week.